Welcome to Smash Exams. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to write an introduction for the IELTS writing task part two for the problem solution essay. I know the feeling all too well. You go and sit down in the exam, you open your paper, you read your question, and you just don't know how to start. This video is for you. We're gonna look at exactly how to start the IELTS problem solution essay. And stick around until the end of the video where we're going to go through some real life IELTS questions and how to use this technique that I will show you in this video in your real test. I'm going to give you examples and show you how it's done. Let's get started. To write a good introduction, you need to make sure you have planned your essay. A good IELTS problem solution introduction needs three components. Number one, you need to paraphrase your statement. Number two, you need to state at least one problem. And number three, you need to state at least one solution. This is where the planning comes in. You need to know what you are going to say in your essay so you can mention it in the introduction. This will give you good marks for coherence and cohesion. And it will also help with the task achievement. The first thing we need to do is to look at the question. You can see it right here. Despite a large number of gyms, a sedentary lifestyle is gaining popularity in the modern world. What are the problems associated with this? What solutions can you suggest? Give reasons for your answer and include any relevant examples from your own knowledge or experience. Write at least 250 words. Okay, we have the question. Let's get on with our plan. We only need to come up with ideas at this stage. Just think of as just brain dump the ideas onto the page. Here is my brain dump for the first things I thought of for problems and solutions based on the question. Here is my brain dump. So we have the question, despite a large number of gyms, a sedentary lifestyle is gaining popularity in the modern world. What are the problems associated with this and what solutions can you suggest? So we need to look at the problems of people being sedentary even when there are gyms. And we also need to think of solutions to get people to be less sedentary. So I think lack of motivation for people to go to the gym. They might have busy work schedules. Maybe people could be embarrassed to go to a gym if they are out of shape. Or maybe it's just the high cost of gym memberships and personal trainers. Again, these are just ideas. We're not going to use all of them. We are just brainstorming. Also, we need solutions to get people to be less sedentary or maybe get them to be more active. I thought maybe workplace wellness programs, we can give them incentives to exercise or maybe even just affordable fitness options. Now, after you've come up with ideas, you need to think of which ones you want to use for your essay. You need to think about which ones you could write the most about. But at the moment, we're just concentrating on the introduction. So I am going to choose the high cost of gym memberships and personal trainers. And my solution to that specific problem will be affordable fitness options. So this is my plan. This is what I'm going to write about. And now I'm going to show you how to use this in your introduction. Okay, now we need to start writing the three components of our introduction for the problem solution essay for the IELTS writing task two. Make sure you wait till the end of the video because I'm gonna give you a chance to write your own introduction for the problem solution essay. Write your answer in the comments and I will give you personal feedback for anyone that comments. So now we know which problem we're going to be writing about. We know the solution we're going to be proposing. Now we need to write the introduction because now we know what we need to say. The first sentence in the introduction needs to be paraphrasing the statement that's given to you in the question. So let's have a look at it. Despite a large number of gyms, a sedentary lifestyle is gaining popularity in the modern world. So let's have a look at some options that we could paraphrase. We could change the word despite to a synonym such as even though or in spite of. We could change gym into fitness center or workout facilities or even a weight room. A large number of, we could change to a lot or many. Sedentary lifestyle, we can change into inactive lifestyle. Gaining popularity just means something is on the rise or increasing. And we could change the modern world to nowadays or the 21st century or even the contemporary world. Let's give it a shot. 
even though there are a lot of fitness facilities, inactive lifestyles are on the rise in the 21st century. Not bad, it's a little bit awkward though. Let's try again, maybe changing the order a little bit. Inactive lifestyles are on the rise in the 21st century, even though there are fitness centers everywhere. As you can see, we've just paraphrased the statement from the question, and now we have our very first sentence of the introduction. So what do we need to do next? Now we need to summarize the problem and the solution, which we already have from our plan. We know we're gonna be talking about the high cost of gym membership, and how we need to give a more affordable alternative. Let's try this. The main problem is that gyms are unaffordable to most people. I think the alternative to this would be to create cheaper solutions for people to exercise and be active. If you're enjoying this video, please like and subscribe and make sure to comment at the end with your introduction. Okay, so now we put our paraphrase statement a summary of the problem and a quick summary of the solution all together into an example and it will look something like this. Even though there are a lot of fitness facilities, inactive lifestyles are on the rise in the 21st century. The main problem is that gyms are unaffordable to many people. I think the solution to this would be to create cheaper ways for people to get exercise. Now this is about 48 words which leaves you over 200 to write your two body paragraphs and your conclusion. So that is how you write an introduction to the problem solution essay. I'm now gonna show you three more examples to show you that this technique really works. Here is a problem solution essay that says, nowadays many people complain that they have difficulties getting enough sleep. What problems can a lack of sleep cause and what can be done about the lack of sleep? So I first paraphrase the statement, people in the modern world often complain about their issues with a lack of sleep. The main problem is that not getting enough sleep causes is that people get stressed and anxious in their day-to-day -day life. That is the main problem. Creating a consistent sleep schedule is a possible solution to this. And as you can see, I have color coded this with yellow is the paraphrase. The green is the sum up the main problem and the red is the solution. In this one, the problem solution for IELTS writing task two is, in many countries, the age of criminals is getting lower. Give reasons and solution to the problem. Support your position with the relevant examples. So as you can see, I've color coded it again. The paraphrase is in the yellow. Lawbreakers are getting younger in most of the world. This may be due to the global economic hardships and a possible solution would be to try and create more jobs for young people. This one is only 32 words, so you have plenty of words left to do your body paragraphs and your conclusion. And the last one before I give you one to try in the comments below for some personalized feedback is, global warming is one of the biggest threats humans face in the 21st century and as sea levels continue to rise at alarming rates. What problems are associated with this and what are some possible solutions? As you can see, again, color coded. Climate change is one of humanity's biggest dangers and ocean levels are increasing rapidly. A huge problem is that a lot of coastal cities will soon be underwater and the best solutions are preventative measures such as reducing CO2 emissions urgently. And there you have it. That is the Smash Exams method for how to write an introduction to the problem and solution essay for the IELTS writing task one. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, but now I want you to have a go at writing your own introduction. Here is the question. Even though advances have been made in agriculture, many people around the world still go hungry. What problems does this cause and what are some possible solutions? Remember to plan your answer think about some problems it will cause, think about some solutions, paraphrase your statement, and then put it together into one introduction. Put it in the comments so I can have a look and I will give you feedback. Good luck and smash those exams. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. If you enjoyed this video, you might wanna try out one of these two videos because they are also about the IELTS test. This video is part of an online course that I am developing. If you would like to be one of the first people to use it or one of the people that gets to use it for free, sign up in the description box below and you'll be the first to hear when the full course is launched. In the course, we'll be going through every single essay type, including 
advantages and disadvantages, problem solution, discussion, and agree and disagree. I will also be using videos like this one that show you how to write every single paragraph of every single essay for the IELTS writing task two. Hope to see you there and smash those exams.